a few years ago I remember talking to uh, a friend of mine who had a parish and whenever he found things were getting were getting difficult uh, he realized that he was taking out his frustration on a particular piece of furniture in one of the side chapels of his church and he got to his state of mind where he was convinced that if only all he had to do was to sort that bit of furniture out and then all the other frustrations and difficulties with which he was confronted would evaporate. He knew only too well that it was a rather silly idea, but he recognised that what he was doing really was projecting onto that piece of furniture the frustrations and difficulties that he was feeling within. And I was thinking of this this week when uh, thinking about everything to do with Dominic Cummings and particularly really the response uh, to what he got up to. Every now and again I think it's true to say that when a society is fractious and divided and ill at ease with itself, one of the ways for this to be resolved is to find a suitable candidate on whom we can, as it were, dump all our problems and frustrations, a scapegoat. And the sense is that once we've dumped everything on this particular person or object, then, as it were, the frustration and fury that we feel dissipates and we can return to some kind of more, some greater sort of equilibrium. And I think in many ways a lot of that was going on with the response to Dominic Cummings. The crowd outside his church, uh, outside his house, uh, baying as it were for his blood. And it's a pattern that repeats itself time and time again in human history. And it seems to me that one of the most important contributions that the Christian faith makes is that it, through the person of Jesus, it offers an opportunity to break this cycle of violence, this need for a scapegoat, and this need to have somebody else sort out all our problems. And I think that what we need to do when we reflect about this is be very careful about rushing to judgment. And the role of the church in many circumstances should actually really be to sit up, to stand up for unsympathetic people. It's so easy to join a bandwagon and become part of a crowd baying for blood. Here we are now just a few days away from the Feast of Pentecost. And a prayer for all of us in fractious times uh, could be taken from the lovely hymn, Come Down, O Love Divine. It's my prayer for this day. Come down, O Love Divine, seek thou this soul of mine, and visit it with thine own ardour glowing. O let it freely burn, till earthly passions turn to dust and ashes in its heat consuming. Let holy charity mine outward vesture be, and lowliness become mine inner clothing. And so the yearning strong, with which the soul will long, shall far outpass the power of human telling. Nor can we guess its grace, till we become the place wherein the Holy Spirit makes his dwelling. May the Holy Spirit make his dwelling in us. May we not rush to judgment. May we stand up for unsympathetic characters. Amen.